So what I'm starting here is the making of mashed potatoes for a vegan cauliflower uh, mashed potato dish with uh, mushroom, mushroom gravy, yeah. hey Jen, with mushroom gravy, vegan mushroom gravy. And there's a couple secrets to mashed potatoes. One is you always start them in cold water and you have the cold water go to just above the top potato. You want to cut the potatoes up into, you know, close to the same size so they all cook the same. When the potatoes are done, and you can tell when they're done by putting a fork into them, right? And if a fork goes in, easily they're done. Then the key is to get them out of the water. Once the mashed potatoes are cooked, water becomes the enemy of mashed potatoes. And a lot of people don't know that. So a lot of cooks, if they're doing a lot of things, which most cooks are, what they'll do is they'll turn the water off and the potatoes will stay on the stove until they can get to them. So what you're going to see us do is you're going to see me when these potatoes are done to strain them immediately. And then the other thing about mashed potatoes that they like is they like to be mashed with, you know, butter and heavy cream and salt and pepper. But if there's dietary things, then, you know, milk or almond milk and margarine and salt and pepper whatever you are going to mix into the mashed potatoes you want to do that immediately so you're going to see me strain these potatoes then you're going to see me put that when they're right when they're done cooked cooking then we're going to put them right back in the pan and we're going to throw the stuff in that we're mashing it with and we're going to mash it while they're hot and then that makes for a fluffier more mashed easier to mash potato Look at that beautiful potato, fluffy. This is a vegan mashed potato, so no butter or cream or so it's a, it's a coconut fat and Himalayan sea salt. That's it. Okay, so once the you're mixing the potatoes with the coconut oil and Himalayan sea salt or butter and heavy cream and salt and pepper or almond milk and margarine, right? Whatever you're going to put in there to make help make them creamy, you can't overmix the potatoes. When you overmix potatoes, especially Idaho potatoes like this, you wake up the gluten. And when you wake up the gluten, the potatoes becomes gummy. Uh, and so when you serve gummy potatoes to elders or little kids, they can choke. <laughs>